MSNBC. You know, Tom, you must be the thinnest skinned guy in America. Gail, talk to Gail. Hey, Gail, you know what? First off, it's none of your business. Did I say on topic? Are you, are you stupid? On topic. On topic. Next question. If you think that's a confrontational tone, then, I, you know, you should really see me when I'm pissed. <laughs> Ah, yes, everyone's favourite acerbic uncle. It's probably wise not to tell our next guest that Chris Christie is certain to be re-elected as the governor of New Jersey, nor that his president, he's pre presidential material, nor that his habit of calling people jerk or idiot is indicative of strong pragmatic leadership. And so we'll do all three with our next guest, Mr Christie's Democratic opponent, State Senator Barbara Buono. Welcome to our broadcast. Now, nationally, Mr Christie has developed this fantastic image of himself as a no-nonsense, principled, pragmatic kind of guy. But how does that reputation square with the fact that the state now ranks 44th in job creation, where the unemployment rate is 8.5%, not 7.2%, and where property taxes have gone up almost 20% under his leadership? Well, you know, I do take issue with your first statements. Are you beating me? But he's not. You know, he better not count his chickens so far. You know, New Jersey focuses well, on... Well, according to the polls, he looks as though he's pretty well in ahead. Well, you know what they say about polls. It's a snapshot in time. And in New Jersey, we make our decision a couple weeks out. And we just went up on TV uh, last week, so people were communicating our message. People are out there listening to it. And it's resonating. And, and you really uh, expressed our platform right there. This governor is, is wrong on the issues. We have an economy in New Jersey that has fallen flat. We are at the bottom of the barrel in economic growth. Well, the fact of the matter is this governor doesn't have an economic plan. He's taken a page out of the Mitt Romney supply side, trickled down economics that we voted against in the last two presidential elections. So how do you, so how do you credit his success? Well, you know, people in New Jersey are burdened under the highest property taxes that they've seen ever. The econ people are out of work. We have the highest unemployment in the in the region and the sure. lowest rate of job. So why is he are, so popular? They're not focused. They well, he's a good entertainer. Governor O'Malley was in New Jersey he's last a, he's week. He's an entertainer. Well, as Governor O'Malley said, if you can't govern, you better well entertain. And he enter he's entertaining, but you know what? No amount of YouTube videos or late-night wisecracks on Letterman or SNL can erase the fact that this governor doesn't have an economic plan. His social issues, he, his stance on social issues are in sync with, I don't know, Sarah Palin, uh, certainly not New Jersey. Well, not now, because he supports gay marriage, or he's certainly not litigating against it, is he, in oh, the way that he could not that, that couldn't be further from the truth. This governor has stand, stood against gay marriage for four years. This Supreme Court of New Jersey, thank goodness, backed him into a corner. He had no choice, but he, he reacted to the rule of law. They said, hey, listen, they denied his, his uh, motion to uh, uh, stay a lower court decision, saying that words do matter, that uh, you are denying gay, gay uh, couples their equal rights under the sure. law. But, you know, he was backed into a corner. He so, reacted to the rule of law. So was that a principled position or was that simply him being <laughs> pragmatic? Well this governor, one thing you can say about him, you can be sure that he will say whatever it takes to get reelected. Right. Well you heard him before the RNC, he said if you want a, a candidate that's, that believes in ideology, you know somebody that has some conviction, then I'm not your guy because I'm in it to win. Okay, now during a recent debate Mr. Christie uh, argued that he was perfectly healthy to carry out all his duties and it's hard to kind of assume that he isn't. He's did a great job over Hurricane Sandy and so on, and he's, he's led the state in that way, I guess, fairly successfully. You've published your own medical records which describe you in excellent health. Would you like him to do the same? Well, you know, I think it's, it's really not a question of what I would like. It's what, whether or not the, the people of New Jersey, the voters think that that's relevant in the election. But what I'm focused on are the fact that there's 400,000 people out of work, that this governor doesn't have an economic plan. But, but it amounts to a noun, a verb, and Hurricane Sandy. No, I get it, and, and we've discussed that. But what I'm asking is, do you think that his physical condition is an issue? And as I said, I think it's up to the voters of New Jersey, and they'll make that decision on November 5th. Well, what do you think? I think that the uh, moderator asked the governor and myself at the first debate whether or not we would uh, release our medical records if we were asked, and we were asked, and I released them. The governor okay. hasn't. Okay, we didn't answer the question, I forgive you. During the last <laughs> debate, you asked Christie whether he regretted raising money for the Republicans who helped bring the, uh, the shutdown about. Uh, let me play a bit of his response. I'd like you to listen to him. I don't regret it at all. In fact, uh, what I regret is what we see in Washington, D.C., that's been typified by the awful partisanship by both sides. How do you, I mean, he says he's opposed to the shutdown. 
and yet on the other hand he won't condemn those who brought it about well exactly and I think that there, there isn't he said there's enough blame to go around and quite frankly I don't think there is I think it's at squarely at the feet of the Republican Party and some of them have taken responsibility you see the governor likes to you know throw his sound bites out there but you can't you know erase the fact that he campaigned for raised money for the architects of, of the shutdown in fact if he can them, uh, then I think he's as guilty as the, the crazy uh, element of the Republican Party driving that train off a cliff. Final question. Can you make up the deficit in the polling current to, to win this election? Absolutely. As I said, we're up on TV. You know, we don't have as much money as this governor does. We, but we No. <laughs> 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 but we do have matching funds, two for one matching funds in New Jersey. And, you know, the, on the issues, if we can just get our message out there, and we are, and we have a strong... Hey, by the way, we have the same team that got uh, de Blasio elected from behind in New York, so that's... Well, yeah. <laughs> well, he's through the primary. He's got to win that election. New Jersey State Senator Barbara Buena, thank you so much for coming in. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Coming up.